Welcome to the world of quantum mechanics. Between the years of 1905 to the 1960s, a seismic shift took place in the scientific world. The emergence of a complete and complex quantum theory marked a defining era. This was no ordinary development. It was a revolution, restructuring the very underpinnings of our understanding. This revolutionary theory shed an entirely new light on, well, light itself. It unveiled an astonishing truth. The electromagnetic force, a fundamental interaction of nature, is the result of countless microscopic interactions. These interactions involve indivisible particles of light, known as photons. This was a radical departure from the conventional understanding of light. It was no longer seen as a simple, continuous wave, but as a stream of particles, each carrying a quantum of energy. The quantum theory presented a new lens through which we could perceive and interpret the world around us. But here's the catch. Quantum mechanics doesn't offer a visual explanation of these photon interactions. You won't find a clear-cut, predictable pattern to follow. Instead, it provides a mathematical toolset, a language of symbols and equations that allows us to make predictions about the subatomic world. But why does quantum mechanics defy the very physics it's a part of? At the subatomic level, the world operates differently. Forget about the predictable rules of macroscopic processes. Here, probabilities govern behavior. It's a cosmic game of chance, where it's impossible to predict exactly what particles will do at any given moment. As fascinating as it is, quantum mechanics is not for the faint-hearted. It defies the predictable, embracing the world of probabilities. Quantum mechanics may be revolutionary, but it is also extremely challenging. This is a world where the conventional rules of physics take a back seat, and a new, complex language of mathematics takes the wheel. In the quantum realm, we're dealing with the tiniest particles in the universe. These particles dance to their own tune, and it's a tune that's not so easy for us to understand. The quantum framework, though a powerful tool, does not provide us with a visual explanation of these interactions. Instead, it hands us a mathematical tool set to make predictions. But even these predictions are not always perfect. Imagine watching a play where the actors have no set script and they're making up their lines as they go along. That's what it's like in the subatomic world. Here, probabilities govern behavior. It's impossible to predict exactly what particles will do at any given moment. One moment they're here, the next they're there. Are they particles? Are they waves? Well, they're a bit of both, and that's just the beginning of the quantum conundrum. This lack of predictability can be unsettling. We're used to a world where cause and effect rule, where if we do A, then B happens. But in the quantum world, doing A might lead to B, or it might lead to C or D, or all of them, at once. This is a world where particles can be in two places at the same time, where they can pop in and out of existence, and where they can even influence each other instantaneously over vast distances. This unpredictability is what makes quantum mechanics so perplexing, so intriguing, and so controversial. It's a puzzle that has fascinated and frustrated scientists for more than a century. But it's also a puzzle that has given us a deeper understanding of the universe and has opened up new horizons in technology and innovation. So let's embrace the conundrum and let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of quantum mechanics. This lack of predictability was a thorn in the side of one of the greatest minds in history, Albert Einstein. In the early 20th century, while the world was embracing the quantum revolution, Einstein was on a quest a quest for a unified theory that could neatly tie together electromagnetism and gravity without the perplexities of quantum mechanics. He was searching for an elegant mathematical framework that would make the universe's fundamental laws as predictable as clockwork. Einstein was not against quantum mechanics per se, he accepted its power to predict subatomic behavior. However, he was deeply troubled by the way it left so much to chance. He famously declared, God does not play dice with the universe. In the 1930s, the physics landscape started to change. New forces were being discovered, forces that seemed to fit into the quantum framework. But Einstein, with his characteristic tenacity, continued to focus on his unified theory, his non-quantum framework. He believed that beneath the apparent randomness of quantum mechanics, there must be a deeper layer of reality, a layer where particles had definite properties and the universe behaved according to strict deterministic rules. This belief became his lifelong pursuit. Year after year, he worked on his theory, hoping to find the missing piece of the puzzle. But the more he tried, the further away the solution seemed to get. 
the world of physics moved on, with quantum mechanics becoming the accepted framework for understanding the subatomic world. But Einstein remained steadfast, refusing to give up on his dream of a unified theory. Sadly, by the end of his life, Einstein had not found the solution he was searching for. Quantum mechanics had come to describe three of nature's fundamental forces, while gravity remained separate, elusive. Einstein's quest was a testament to his genius and his stubbornness, a pursuit of a grand vision that defied the quantum world. Today, quantum mechanics stands tall, its influence far-reaching, its mysteries still captivating. In the twilight years of Einstein's life, this enigmatic theory had already begun to shape our understanding of three fundamental forces of nature, leaving only gravity at the outskirts of its grasp. Quantum mechanics had started to charm the scientific world with its unpredictable dance of probabilities, leaving the deterministic universe of Newton and Einstein behind. Fast forward to today and quantum mechanics has not only survived but thrived, painting a vivid picture of the subatomic world. Its applications are as diverse as they are profound. From the transistors that power our digital world, to the lasers that read our DVDs, to the MRI machines that peek into the human body, quantum mechanics is everywhere. But the quantum story is far from over. The quest for a grand unification of forces, the dream that captivated Einstein, remains an open challenge. Can gravity be successfully brought under the quantum umbrella? Can we reconcile the macroscopic and the microscopic? These questions beckon the brightest minds of our time, fueling cutting-edge research. Quantum mechanics also teases us with tantalizing hints of undiscovered realms. Quantum entanglement, the eerie phenomenon of particles influencing each other instantaneously over vast distances, suggests a deeper level of reality that we are yet to fully comprehend. And so the quantum journey continues, with each new discovery only serving to deepen the enigma. Quantum mechanics has transformed our world and yet it remains as elusive as ever, its core principles defying our intuition, challenging our understanding, and stretching the limits of our imagination. Quantum mechanics continues its reign, a revolutionary theory that defies the predictable, embraces the uncertain, and keeps us forever questing for answers. The journey of quantum mechanics is a story of revolution, controversy, and relentless pursuit of knowledge. Born in the early 20th century, it challenged the very fabric of our understanding, revealing the subatomic world where light became a game of countless microscopic interactions involving indivisible photons. Yet it offered no visual explanation, only a mathematical tool set for predictions. This world was ruled by probabilities, not the predictable rules we were used to. It was a world that troubled even the great Einstein, who sought a unified approach to combine electromagnetism and gravity without relying on quantum principles. Despite new forces introduced in the 30s, Einstein persisted with his non-quantum framework. By the end of his life, quantum mechanics could describe three forces of nature, with gravity still standing apart, 